but it's so much more damage in a two-handed weapon. There really is. So I don't know. <laughs> and it's very viable, so I could just sell it. So I might just do that. Did I not give you the gold or black bow? Or is the one you've got better? Let's say. I thought I gave you the gold or black bow. Did I want you to use it? You don't need an absorption of 10. Whatever. What was I going to give you? Oh, I've already given it to you. I'm still really, really heavy, I think. Yeah, I'm still really heavy. I'm going to just drop some stuff that I don't need. Sounds like a plan, right? Yeah. I really keeping. Gonna sell. Keeping, keeping. Bye bye. <laughs> Shut off. I don't, I don't know why I'm still carrying you. Don't want you. Don't want you. Is that. Yeah, there we go. I'm back under. Good. Let's uh, get my dwarven. Well, I don't understand why that automatically assigned itself to a, a favourite, but uh, not going to complain. Not going to complain. We've got matching weapons, Lydia, almost. I'm going to enchanting, be enchanting mine with fire damage as well. Hopefully by now it'll be stronger. Though I'm not really 100% sure on that. Ooh, ooh, what's this? Potion of healing. I will take that. Ah, there's a coin purse over there as well. Nice! God, the things you spot when you realise you've not really been paying attention. <laughs> Wrong button. Okay. Well then. Okay, so now I'm confused. Did I manage to get through that door at some point somehow? I guess I must have. I guess I must just be misremembering that I didn't. Because it was such a fucking pain in the ass the amount of times I tried. There must have been an update that let me get through it, I guess. But I don't remember it. Not one bit. But it must have happened. So, <clears throat> excuse me. Return to the Bard's College. Let's do that. To the Blue Palace! Khajiit! Pick someone's pocket by activating them while sneaking. Looking at their inventory is harmless. Taking anything is a crime. As long as you don't get noticed, you're alright. There's a weird philosophy that a friend of mine still holds true to this day. Not that he's a criminal, it's just that he likes this kind of philosophical kind of, philosophical kind of thing. Where a crime is not a crime if no one sees you doing it. And I think he's talking like... In terms of the literal definition, a crime is something you, it, you, you, illegal that you do and are then penalised or caught doing. So I think he's. Whoa, hello. That's something I'm supposed to deliver. Your hands only. Okay. Let's see here. A letter. Not sure who from. Okay. It's just that he was a friend of mine. Looks like that's it. Got to go. Let's check this out. It'll be under books, right? Bouncy, bouncy, bouncy. Uh, letter from a friend. Must be this one. Uh, Jester. That's me. Uh, you caused a bit of stir in Dead Men's Respite. When you demonstrated the power of your thumb. Not everyone is anxious for the return of the dragonborn. I, for one, desire to see you grow and develop your talents. Good. Skyrim needs a true hero these days. You should turn your attention to Forsaken Cave. I understand it holds a mysterious source of power that can only be unlocked by the Dragonborn. Sincerely, a friend. Okay. Well, that smells like a trap. Yeah. What was I saying? Oh yeah, my friend's philosophy is basically that, you know, if, it, if the specific definition of the word being getting caught, witness doing it or something like that, then it can't be considered a crap. I disagree. I think the English language as set forth in the dictionary is vastly uh, too confined. It, it evolves too much for people to really take the dictionary seriously anymore. I mean, just, just look at the way it evolves on the internet alone. People complain, that's not real English, blah, 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 blah. Well, people in Middle England and all ages wouldn't think what we're talking is real English either, so language evolves. 
I kind of got serious for no reason, didn't it? <laughs> and I know I'm not the best at English. I will constantly use the wrong words, as set forth by the dictionary. But I think they're more colourful that way, when you use slightly wrong words. Because, you know, things become a bit more interesting if you, if you give it a bit of flourishment. If that makes sense. Hello, Yarmo. Ah, you've returned. How goes the task I gave you? Um, I found, I found I King of Alaska. So why did you send me to my nearly certain death? Well, it wasn't really certain. It wasn't even nearly certain. I survived. This won't do at all. Why not? What's wrong with it? Something wrong with my eye. It's Ow. To the point that parts are oh, I thought he'd scribbled it out. It looked like he'd scribbled it out. God, you... Everyone's a critic. It means I can't read it to the court. Without the verse, I won't be able to convince Elisif of the importance of the burning of King Ola Festival. If she oh, my eye itches, man. Seriously. <laughs> What's going on? reverse her decision to stop the effigy burning. It means that the burning of King Ola, Ow. which the Bard's College has held for... Time, time and memorial. memorial. Well, I'm sure you probably remember when King Olaf was around, and then that's a memory, right? Of when it's died. Can we just make up missing parts? Make it up? That doesn't seem appropriate. Who cares, man? I suppose I could copy his style based on what you brought me, but I have no idea. Well, we make it up. And I kind of have a recollection of um things I witnessed while in the dungeon, I suppose. Uh Death Dealing Demon, Dragon Killing King. Dragon killing king. Your legend is lies. I read it far better than he did. Capture of Numenex Hakan for the ages. Yes, it was. King Olaf was Olaf One Eye. How did you not figure that out? Same name. Come on. What did we say really happened? Well. Hmm. <gasps> Olaf was. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yep. I find that highly unlikely. Oh, come on. Okay. Oh, I've made a deal with Numenex. There we go. Yeah. Good lad. Good lad. Good lad. Olaf grabbed power by promise and threat. Nice. Two things very similar, but different contexts. But solitude stood strong. Oh, we're just having to the thing you were holding. <laughs> Olaf's vengeance Whoa, was hey, he's pushing me around. He's pushing me around. Wicked. Strange. According to history, solitude attacked Winterhold, but Asgir seemed to be saying, saying Olaf reacted. Asgir? It was called Svarkid. No, that's, a, some, that's something from Borderlands 2. What was his name? Can't remember. Olaf ordered disguised troops to attack solitude? Ooh. He convinced all of you to attack one, which hold. He sacked it and used magic to blame Solitude. No. Olaf ordered disguised troops to attack Solitude. <laughs> and they got the orders backwards. <laughs> yes, I'm writing that in. Oh god, he likes it, doesn't he? <laughs> <laughs> we, we really don't like King Olaf, do we? I thought Olaf, one eye, or whatever. Wait, which one are we burning? Because they didn't think they were the same person, did they? <sighs> confused. Hang on. <laughs> Ah, uh, okay. You should come. Okay, go. Lead the way. Who the hell was pushing me? Up? You! Six fingers? Doesn't look like you got six fingers. You reckon? Hopefully we've not literally just copied... I mean, made up everything. Can I steal this? Damn it! I can steal it. But I want to not be noticed doing so. And I can't, because it's too high on the shelf. I'm too sure. Oh, no. Oosh. Success. Alright. She was staring right at me. She was staring right at me. Apparently didn't seem to care. I'm fine with that. Oh, East Empire Trading Company. It's not like the East India Trading Company. 
very clever, these people at Bethesda, the way they think up things. Similar but not quite. Some people might think it's sort of unoriginal and boring and um, lazy. I don't think so. I think it's very clever, personally. Oop. Oh, he's going to the court court. The blue palace court. And you are walking so slowly. Move. Oh, good lord. Can we hurry this up a bit? Got a schedule to keep. We're going the, I'm going the wrong way. Am I? We're going the right way? Yeah, we're going the right way. Oh yeah, blue palace, duh. Sorry, I got confused because he's still got the fucking um, checkpoint over his head. <laughs> Come on, hurry up, man. I've got so much to do. Can't just spend all day following you around with your leisurely stroll. Hopefully me going through this door will speed him up a bit. Probably not. Yeah. Probably not. Great. I mean, I'd wait for an hour. It's probably how long it's going to take him. <laughs> but if I do that, I don't know if I'm going to miss the conversation. I'll probably miss the conversation. To be completely honest. Won't I? There's a chest down there. Ooh, what's in the chest? Let's see what's in the chest. Uh, ah, there we go. Nobody can see me. I will take the gold. And no one is any the wiser, even though Lydia is being so obvious. <laughs> Sneaking right in front of this guy. No one cares. Oh my god, Biamo. Where are you going? What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? You said, can we... Oh my, seriously? Just because it's the middle of the night? Fuck. Thank you. What was that about? You're the Bard's College principal or dean or headmaster or whatever the word is. Fucking, you have to wait? You don't have to wait? Oh, what's the name in... in um, what's the name of the guy, the master in uh, Chronicles of Pern? I want to say... Right, because of Rob. Oh, the Harpers in the Chronicles of Pern. If anybody reads that, you know what I'm talking about? You guys are legends. Chronicles of Pern, the Harpers, Master Harper. Master Harper, Rob. Rob. Ah, oh, I can't remember. Robbins? Was it just Robbins? No. I feel like there was more to it than that. Master Harper. I want to say Robertson, but they didn't really have human, you know, earthy names as such. What was it? I'm going to have to look it up later.